YouTube today I'll be making an overview of my brand new app that I made and the app name is a convex health visualizer so you can see the icon right here I released it on the app store just yesterday and essentially allows you to make convex hulls now if you're hearing to this you're probably like what the heck is a convex hull but pretty much what it is is you're given a set of points and it generates a shape so that it encloses all of the different points so if I have a point inside here it doesn't enclose it as you can see here so pretty much you can draw any shape and it uses a predefined algorithm to to very quickly find out all the different points on the graph. So this is uh, an example of it in two dimensions. And you can also, um, you have everything like that. So you just plot points and it generates the convex hull. Now there's several different features. I added multi-touch gestures so you can increase the width and the size of everything. You can also go to settings and inside settings here, you can change the different colors. So you can have like green, you can have um black for example. You can change the node color to be something else. You can also change the circle radius and you can also change the thickness. So from here, and you can just go back. And here we have our, our stuff and then you can go to reset. And you can just generate cool shapes like that. So you can double tap like this and it will automatically generate and you just tap once and it builds it. So basically a rundown of how the algorithm works. It calculates it in n log n time complexity, so using gray hem scan algorithm. And uh, it essentially finds the starts off with the lowest point. So it would start off here, the lowest point, and then it goes and sorts all of the different angles by their polar coordinates in relation to the x-axis. So the first one would be here, there, 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 there. It makes like a it makes like a clock that goes like around like that. And then it sorts out the, the, the points. And then what it does is it goes like that, builds a vector, which is like P0, P1, and then another vector, um, P1, P2. And then sees if vector P0, P1, and vector P1, P2 does a left turn. And if it does a left turn, you're good. But we go to the next point here, and we change the vector around. So we get um, P0, P1, P1, P2, P2, P3. We see P1, P2, and P2, P3. Also do a left turn, so that's good. But here, we see that P3 and P4, so P2, P3, and P3, P4, do a right turn. And that means that this point should not be here because you're doing a right turn and you should not be doing right turns. So then it pops this off the stack and pops this point off the stack. So the Graham scan algorithm is a bit hard to conceptualize just by looking at it. That's a basic rundown of how it works. Um, I used encapsulation object-oriented programming to plot everything on the grid, and then based off of that, just a bunch of comparators, and you can just plot everything. So overall, the app works fine. There's not much to it. I guess you can use multi-touch gestures to build your nice convex hulls. And uh, I put this on the App Store, and in future updates, I might add the different algorithms. So for example, I might add um, g the gift wrapping algorithm. The gift wrapping algorithm is a bit slower. It's n times h uh, time complexity compared with this song, which is n log n. n log n is um, significantly faster than the other one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you want to watch my other video, I also made another app a few days ago, which is a slope field generator app. Both these apps are free on the App Store. So if you haven't seen the slope field generator app video, you can feel free to check that one out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.